Welcome back to the SSL Family Dad channel. Today, we're gonna to show you how to turn dirt into soil. It is April here in Michigan and it's time to get some of our garden space uh, pre-prepared, prepped. This is a great time. The soil is workable, everything is thawed. It's a great time to get compost and things out into the garden because we usually get a lot of rain between now and May. Usually May 1st is when I'll plant root crops and May 15th is when I'll plant the rest of my garden between May 15th and May 25th, somewhere in there. But today we are going to be prepping the soil and so we want to get as much compost, as much nitrogen material, carbon material, organic matter essentially in the soil as possible in our garden space. So it can start to break down, it can start to uh, enrich that soil, we can start to get worms and microbes and bugs and all that kind of stuff work in the soil for us as early as possible. We've got a few things to clean up here <laughs> to get ready and we've got a lot of compost to move. The army tent's gotta come down and we're gonna expand the garden out into that hill a little bit. It looks like our raised beds held up very, very well. And I'll put a link in the description to these. These I put in last year. They're inexpensive, they're super fast and easy to put up and uh, they seem to weather really well. They've, they've lasted uh, the winter time very well. But you'll see I made a huge mistake. I don't know what I was thinking. I had a bunch of hay, it was starting to go moldy. It was in my garage in the fall and I thought, I gotta get it out of here, I'm gonna throw it in the garden. Well, I threw it in the garden. Hay is the worst thing to throw in the garden <laughs> because it's filled with weed seeds. It's filled with all the grass seeds and weeds and all that stuff. And all those seeds have probably already made it into the soil, but oh well. Uh, at this point, I'm gonna try to clean out this hay and I'm gonna take that up to the chicken pasture. And then I'm gonna come back down with loads of compost. Technically, this is not compost. It has not composted. It is just uh, chicken bedding. It's, it's chicken manures uh, and chicken uh, bedding. We use uh, large flake pine shavings. You can see all those in there. And this basically has not been cleaned since uh, for a couple months. And so there's a good thick layer of manures mixed in with the wood shavings. And so I stack it up and they're about four inches thick and let the chickens kind of work through it and, and mess in it and all that. And so now this will break down very quickly in the soil. Uh, there's feathers in here, there's manure. There's, look at all that, yum, yum, is good stuff. So this is gonna get spread out into this area and into our new areas as much as possible. And then I'll get the tiller out and we'll till all these leaves in. We'll till all last year's remnants of tomato plants and all that stuff in there. We'll get the soil all nice and worked up, work up the new areas and we'll have a nice garden space ready to go. We've got a few trips to make and let's get started.
So this is our compost pile. I'm gonna uh, remove some of the sticks here on the side and we'll dig into this thing and see how many loads of this compost I get. This is two years uh, old. So the last time I put anything in here was six months ago and then the bottom of it is two years old. So let's see what we got in here and uh, see how all things have broken down. Well, after all that work, we have this year now doubled the size of our garden. We took the tent down and tilled in all that area over there. And so we've got some dirt and we have some soil. Uh, we have, this is the, the old section of the garden all in the front here and behind. So it ended, it used to end right here and then at the end of the other raised bed and went in, in front and behind. This, this here has now added tons of organic material. We grew in this last year. We've put wood chips, leaves, compost, chicken manures and beddings, uh, and all kinds of other things in this area and it has been worked into the soil. So it's very dry right now, but this actually, as soon as this gets wet, this will be, you'll see how rich it is. And what we're doing when we're turning dirt, just your yard, into workable, real soil is you're really just creating a home for bugs. <laughs> the, the better home you can make for all the microorganisms, the better off you are. So this stuff right here is, just see all the, there's little sticks, there's a bunch of leaf uh, things, and there's some of the bedding from the, uh, the chickens. Uh, there's tons of, you know, little bits of uh, chicken manures and stuff like that that kind of breaks down and just, it turns into like a dust and it's just coated all in all, you know, all in this. There's uh, bits and pieces of stuff from last year. Uh, there's little stems and things like that from, uh, from the, the, the tomatoes and peppers and other things that were, were tilled into this area. So. This soil for about, you know, maybe uh, I would say four to six inches deep here is, is now soil. This is actually healthy stuff. So this will produce a very healthy crop of, of vegetables this year, this soil. It's only going to get better each year. So we're going to add more wood chips to this. We're going to add some more manure so locally around each plant as we plant them. And we're going to keep this wet. We're going to cover this and keep this soil wet. So we're going we're gonna to attract lots of worms and lots of... Uh, microorganisms to come and continue to break this stuff down and and to really really make the soil healthy everyone that decides to start a garden you have to start somewhere and the native soil in your in your area may be good enough and all this this all the soil that we have here the the dirt and the soil in this area is gonna it'll grow something as long as i keep it watered it'll it'll grow something decent the healthier your soil is the better crops you're gonna get, the more fruit you're gonna be able to produce, the more vegetables you're gonna be able to produce, and the healthier the food that you're producing is going to be. So what do we do with the, uh, the first year? What do we do with the first year garden space? How do we deal with that and uh, make it grow something? So for instance, this section on the side over here is uh, mostly dirt. There's a little bit of organic material that we kind of spread through here. I threw a little bit of compost that, you know, we, we dumped a couple buckets in here, but this isn't really great. A lot of sand, a lot of rocks. So instead, what I'll use this space for this year is growing a lot of vining crops. So vining crops like pumpkins or melons or even zucchini doesn't really vine, but it's a local uh, producer. So this entire area right here, uh, instead of doing row crops like corn and 
you know, uh, in ground things like carrots and, and, and other things like tomatoes and peppers and, and things, I'll use this for vining crop. And what that allows us to do is uh, when you plant, say, a pumpkin, you're going to make a, a hill and I'm going to, uh, you know, plant that in just this little spot right here. Uh, I'm going to fertilize this spot so I'll be able to add a little bit of uh, compost to this area as I plant that seed or that, that plant. We'll put it right in this little spot right here. And that's where all the nutrients are going to come from, is this little local area. So I can fertilize this, I can, I can focus on the soil nutrients here, and the rest of it is just going to vine and cover all of the space. And so I don't need to have uh, good, healthy soil in this entire area. I can focus on locally fertilizing and caring for the soil. Uh, around each plant. So we'll plant some melons in here and some pumpkins and some things that take up quite a bit of space for the first year. And then maybe next year and the year after we'll start to use this space for uh, more uh, nutrient rich crops like corn and, and, uh, and tomatoes and peppers and other things that we grow staples here. Building healthy soil is essential to having a healthy garden. The idea is that we want to produce food that is going to be good for us. We want to produce as much as possible in the smallest amount of space. And in order to do that, we have to have good soil. I understand everyone lives in different environments and everyone has different access to different resources. So you've got a couple options. If you have animals of any kind, chickens, bunnies, guinea pigs, uh, even fish, uh, all of their waste and when you clean out fish tanks, when you clean out rabbit cages, when you clean out chicken coops and, and stuff like that, uh, if you have other farm animals, that's great, pigs, goats, sheep, all that kind of stuff, all their manure and all their bedding needs to come to the garden. That's the start of healthy, healthy soil. If you don't have access to, to farm animals, you definitely can still get healthy soil. Uh, you can have things trucked in. You have to pay a little bit of money. You can have a few yards of composted manures or composted yard waste from you know municipal uh, composting centers or local companies and they'll ship that organic matter in here for you and get you off to a quick start and so you can just kind of work that all into the soil and you can start gardening uh, on your first year you can import healthy soil that someone else has built and bring that into your area and there's nothing wrong with that what we want to see here is lots and lots of microorganisms. You're gonna see centipedes, you're gonna see worms if we dig down to the soil. We're gonna see all kinds of other little bugs and, and gnats and other little things working through the soil. All the little decomposers like the little roly-poly bugs and, and all that kind of stuff. We want a lot of that stuff here. Those healthy uh, organisms, we wanna create a great environment for them that actually helps to keep pests out. It actually helps to keep the stuff we don't want out and it helps to build good soil and good healthy food. Hopefully this helped you guys out if you're looking to get a garden started or if you have a garden that hasn't been producing well, maybe you're trying to troubleshoot what's been going on. Healthy soil is the beginning uh, and some other things that I've talked about in some other Gardening 101 videos, so check those out uh, in the Gardening 101 series that we've done here. Don't forget to hit a thumbs up on today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, let me know what you think. Subscribe if it's your first time here. Love to have you tag along for all the sustainable living fun. As always guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.